Hey everyone, my name is Shamit and this is my first ever golf vlog. So today I'm going to be playing a course called Lincoln Park Golf Course up in San Francisco. And this is actually the back nine. This hole is a par four. So I went with a driver there and the, this hole is about 275 yards and I think I, just from that reaction, I think I may have overshot it. Um, and I actually went out as a single, but I got paired up with three other guys, um, and two of two of which, you know, left after the first two holes. So um, I am playing the back nine because, unfortunately, my camera couldn't record for the first nine. So right around and there. as you can see, um, you know, I landed just pin That's high this is off my the ball. green from my so first driver shot. shot. Um, and I was pretty pleased with that because I could have gone way well beyond. Um, and yes, it's always it nice to be around the green in a par four and just one. That's my SB famous, uh, my initials ball marker right there. And so for this shot, you know, I was I was kind of just playing a, a slow chip shot. Unfortunately, I think it was, I had read it as going right to left, but not only did it not break right to left, it actually broke the other way so I left myself a little more room than I wanted to for birdie as you can see well, this is one of the chip shots from um, someone I was playing with and he ended up I think putting this one in for a uh, par par or bogey something like that nice. which is a nice finish for him um, but then it was my turn and my turn for bogey <laughs> or sorry birdie yeah birdie because this was my third shot, um, and one thing I've really been focusing on is my putting, because my long drivers and everything are relatively good, but my short game, including my putting, can be a little um, weary sometimes. That's the one. But that one I knocked in, and as you can see, I was uh, I was pretty happy about that. And so was my uh, my other partner named Dutch, the guy in the red. So this next one is this is number hole. This is number eleven, and this is also a par four. SB, as you just saw, are my initials, and my total score right now is one under par. I had a pretty good five iron, probably around two hundred yards. Um, this is a dog left and um, Dutch over oh, here went yeah, for a went driver for... No. unfortunately caught the toe end of it and tree, was turning so it hit those um, trees to the oh, left here just clipping. Um, but as you can see this yeah. course is on a, up on a hill beautiful. Um, Lincoln Park area in San Francisco really nice area Dutch, so la Dutch landed right there um, and this was his second shot he had a pretty good second shot yeah. considering Bad, that um, he couldn't really okay, see the so hole or anything, so he just wanted to get back into play. That's me. This was my first shot. I landed That's probably about mean. 60 yards from the pin, and so I didn't really know where to put my camera, so I just put it onto the right. But you can imagine me being on the left side, and I hit. You know, I had an okay sure. shot. It was a pretty. Sh I hit, I fell short with my pitch shot, but I wasn't too too worried because that was my second shot. And there I was kind of disappointed, you know, look at me, I'm just, that reaction says it all. I, um, I fell way too short on that, on that chip. So this, this is actually for par, it's about a 12 footer. And I, <laughs> I was so excited, I, I finally got it. Um, so I maintained a par there, moving on to the hole, hole number 12, which is a par 3, it's quite a long par 3. It's about wow. 220 yards, and there you Solid see contact. Alex um, from ball. earlier hitting a pretty good shot. He's, I think he's on the green, and then I'm going with a four iron because it's around 220. That's what I feel most comfortable with. Yeah. I hit that good pretty shot. good. Um, didn't hold the finish. There you see my, you know, my pro tracer from my finger. I don't have the technology right now to do the actual pro tracers, but I'm here walking up to my ball. Keep in mind, this is Brian's still a par three. Eight. So, yeah. Alex is on the green. Dutch, and who's in the red, he's on the is on the back side. side over there. If you can see me zoom into it, my okay. camera skills are pretty bad. And I'm just off the green over here. And I went with an eight iron because it's a little bit uphill. Um, 
And I normally never chip with an 8-iron around the green. And I just blasted that one, as you can see. Pretty disappointed. Um, you know, didn't hit the hill or break or anything. Um, so I had quite a long, long putt for par. Basically, it was a slightly downhill putt. You know, my, my confidence was a little shot from the chip before. And I think I just pulled this one. I looked up, you know. I didn't hold my stance. And I'm looking right like... Did I even read this right? But uh, I definitely pulled that one. Probably about four to five feet left for a par. For sorry, for bogey. Um, but that was not a not a too not too bad of a putt. I was pretty comfortable with that. So all things said and done, move on to the next hole, uh, which is a par five, long, long par five, and I'm all square now. So Dutch hit a pretty good shot. He's I think down the center of the fairway. Yeah. And, you know, I blasted one with my driver. It looked really good, held the pose, felt pretty good. And just towards the end of the shot, it started drifting a little left. So I, I drew the ball a little. And I was just there on the left side. You couldn't really see. So I hit a shot from the left side with trees in my way. And I think I might have caught another tree because I landed here, which was this I just hit for my third shot. Pretty disappointed. I wanted to get it back on the fairway, but overextended to the right side of the fairway, so from right to left, from le left to right, sorry. And now, um, you know, I had to go in between those trees. I was actually pretty proud of that shot because I went through those trees, which you see up on the top left of the screen, um, to land here. So this was my fourth shot, I believe. And, you know, except for pulling it a little bit, I think the line started out okay and the distance was good just pulled a little so I have this I believe that was for bogey actually yeah even though it was a par five because one two three four yeah that was so I ended up getting a double bogey on that um, this next hole hole 14 is a par four it's about 230 yards pretty short par four um, and I was a little worried about the uh, it's a bit how the hazards on the left yeah, and the trees, so I ended up, you know, a little bit more going right with my hybrid. I was going for it on, going for the green on one, cut it a little fine, ended up about 30, 40 yards to the right. So I'm chipping, trying to get it on, so I can, you know, save a par, maybe even get a birdie. <clears throat> and there's this tree trunk in the way, so I have to go high. Um, I opened the club face up, went very high, you see the top of the flag, that red flag, and hit a pretty good shot, I was very pleased with that, and you see my ball, which is probably about 8 feet from the pin, and so I'm quite excited, I'm getting very excited because this is a birdie chance, 8 to 10 feet away, but it's also a little downhill, and I think I may have hammered that one in, as you can see Dutch <laughs> getting close and walking away. So missed that, still gave myself about you know, four feet to the hole to save a par. Luckily I saved that. And that was, you know, three putting from that distance was never good. So I got lucky there. So this is number hole, this is number uh, 15. Unfortunately, I did not get the drive, but I landed around 115, 120 yards away from the pin. And so I went with my sand wedge, but I didn't know there was a back, there was a headwind and I fell way short plus I caught that ball a little fat if you noticed um, so I'm on the right there in front of the bunker this is my horrible <laughs> video skills Dutch as you can see his ball is right in front of him and um, unfortunately I couldn't get a great camera angle but I did manage to hit from the right side if you see that ball fly across your screen you gotta have a good vision to see that and I hit an okay shot but I still had about 25, 30 feet just because it didn't kick. The ball hit the hill and just stopped. So I'm trying my best. Um, so this is my fourth shot, actually. And I was trying to save a par. Did not end up doing so. Probably left it about three, three, four sh feet short. And I need this for bogey. I really don't want to double bogey again. Um, that would be really brutal. So, you know, pretty good, pretty good stroke there. <laughs> the little fist bump because I'm pretty happy about, you know, not not going way too over par there. Um, so I'm actually now three over par for the back nine. 
and we move on to hole 16, which is a long par 3, 240 yards, a little down, downhill, but still quite long. I use my hybrid, take out my hybrid, um, which, you know, I always rely on when it comes to 240, 250 distance, and I need some more accuracy. And I actually hit a pretty good shot. Um, you can see the base of the flag next to Dutch's legs. Um, I'm just on the fringe of the green. Quite a long putt, very, you know, um, it's, it was breaking a lot and it was quite downhill. But um, I had some good confidence in this putt and I felt, you know, I need to get it close so I can maintain a par. So I'm just practicing a few strokes, um, trying to get the speed because the fringe to the green speed is always hard to read. And it looks fast, but it actually goes uphill slightly, and what do you know? Knocks into the pin. So obviously I was extremely excited there. Got a birdie. Great putt from there. Dutch is also very happy, congratulating me. Got that little high five going. Um, and now Dutch actually hit his onto the green so this is his second shot not a bad putt from there um, he's got about three feet to finish off his par but it's quite a little bit of a break as you can see where he's trying to play his ball he's a great putter what I've noticed and he you know plays the break perfectly puts it in gets a par and as you can see the bad camera skills but that's actually the Golden Gate Bridge it's really foggy up in San Francisco um, and that's, you know, it's a beautiful site, this golf course. Pretty relatively cheap, actually, um, especially compared to its brother course, um, the Presidio. Um, and we moved to hole 17. Unfortunately, again, I think my camera spazzed out. This is a par 3, and but I didn't get the tee shot. And I landed quite short, even though it was downhill, because I did I misread the headwind. Um, but this is my second shot, and I'm trying to get it close so I can knock in a par. Hit a pretty good chip from there. It's probably about 20, 30 yards away. And I have probably five feet, four or five feet for a par. And all I'm thinking is I really need to make this. Um, so I practice a few times. It looks pretty straight, but my putting being what it is, you know, it's so disappointing. Uh, with my short game right now, I just knock it way past the hole, two feet past, and end up saving that. But you know, what's done is done. I get a par, I get a bogey actually. Beauty. So this last hole, hole 18 of the nine holes that we have on video today, is a pretty long par four, pretty lengthy. It's, I think about 450 yards par four, 480 something like that. Um, no, 450. And so I hit, you know, I tried to hit as hard as I could because I knew my second shot, I'd want like a 120 shot, 120 yard shot. So, Unfortunately, I, I actually right went way left into these like wood chips so got a ways um, to go. and dirt. And my ball is here. The flag is just above the bush that you see, the, the bigger bush right in the center of your screen. And from here, you know, I was just trying to even feel the ground, see the wind because I don't know how to hit it out of here. I don't know how the ball is going to react. Uh, but I got a sand wedge and kind of just went for it. I was trying to get it close to the green to save something. As you can see, that was a weird bounce. The club took off that, you know, okay. off those wood chips. Somehow managed to land it pretty well. I was back there Come past here. that pathway. Um, cart path managed to land it just outside the bunker which was relieved of and unfortunately I had a pretty good chip here but my camera just died right after this I don't know if it's because of cold or the battery I would two put that to get a bogey um, from there and since that was hole 18 that would be my final score so for this nine holes I was four over pretty damn good score if you ask me for me at least um, and this is more views of the Golden Gate Bridge. But overall, um, really wanted to thank every one of you guys for watching. I think I'm playing Pokemon Go here, looking for some Pokemon. 
But um, thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.